I'm just can't believe Dan still came to recording after shitting in a bag of Doritos. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys! You guys gotta focus! <laughs> okay, we all, we're, we're all good now? Dude, somebody all took right. a bag of home. <laughs> Holy Kaiser! Kathy Austin awesome 6, I am here with Danny. Hi. Psycho. What's up? And Malakaiza. What's up? And we're back with Doki Doki's Literature Club, Switcheroo. Purple is not here. He is away, I'm guessing. He's MIA. So we have Malakaiza voicing for Purple now. That's pretty long, man. Oh my gosh, Danny, wow. why? Thank you, Psycho, for editing that. You're Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Oh my gosh. Alright, I told Natsuko I was interested in his poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with him first. Uh, what's with this? What do you mean? Don't play dumb now. This wasn't written by an amateur. You either snagged this online or Satori brought in a ringer. Oh my gosh. Look, I wrote this myself. And it's my first time writing a poem. Take it for what it's worth. I have no reason to lie about this. In fact, remember how I said I was interested in your poems? That's what I had in mind when I wrote this. I could have been doing other things, you know, like playing video games until morning with Satori. Unbelieving, Natsuko looks over my poem again. He stares at me with a suspicious expression. Alright then, beginner's luck. Beginner's luck! It's literally the most easiest thing to do for a poem that's in your freaking critique. Let's see if you can do it again tomorrow. You seem upset that I'm accidentally good at this. I just wanted to help you feel comfortable sharing your poems. Well, thanks, Kat. I think I would have felt more comfortable sharing if yours wasn't really bad. Wow! Okay! Man, this is such ego written all over I was expecting you to show me something pathetic so I could say, well, it's not great, but let me show you what real writing looks like. <laughs> and instead you went and wrote something really good. So now I'm self-conscious about my poem. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you liked it, but I don't want you to feel bad about your writing as a result. I don't feel bad per se. I just wanted my poem to... Ah. Well, never mind. I should just show it to you. Might as well. Mateo will make you if you don't. I mean, he's not here right now. We only have the substitute, but... Dog can sniff and dog can bark. Cats can see in the dark. Lions roar to show their king. Bees possess a painful sting. Sharks can swim and can attack. Cars can race around a track. Amazing creatures. Amazing things. See them all around you. Would they be just as impressed to see the things that you do? You think you're just as good? You're not the type to quit. I suppose it couldn't hurt to try, but really, that's about it. Impressive, right? <laughs> well, um, it's kind of dumb. You're at a loss for words, I can tell. I knew you'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! 
Most everyone in high school thinks writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people usually don't take my writing seriously. But you seem the type who understands how effective simple writing can be. Oh no, I feel bad. Well, the point of writing is for people to express themselves. A person's writing style wouldn't make their message any less valid. Yes, exactly! <laughs> <laughs> gotta think about that for a minute. <laughs> so, uh, I got a text like, at the same time I was supposed to read, so I was like, ah, shit, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> just give... just give Psycho a moment of silence. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> I knew you would understand. I like when something is easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Wait, this poem was actually about something? The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. What wordplay? I had no idea. And to me, <laughs> nothing brings out feeling shit. And to me, nothing brings out feelings like poems that rhyme. <laughs> I reread the poem fascinated. Now that I know the thought process behind it, I can definitely see the message. I'm actually kind of amazed I missed it the first time. <laughs> so you did. Wow, more went into this than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Oh yeah, sure. I'm glad I was able to teach you something. Mm -hmm. I bet you didn't expect that from me, did you? Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Don't you definitely not. <laughs> Don't you dare try to. Me. <laughs> I'm very tired. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Thank you for the lesson. I decided to humor him with that last comment. I'm not sure what you meant by that, but if Natsuko is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from him. Alright. This is a good poem, Cat. Every poem that I write is a good poem to you. Yes. <laughs> Correct. So what does it matter? Is this really your first time? No, it's actually my 20th time. <laughs> Whoa! In counting. Can't even count that high. <laughs> of course it is! You know I don't write poetry in my spare time. That's true. But that just makes it even more impressive. <clears throat> I mean, we both know why you decided to join. But it really seems like you're really putting an effort into writing. And I appreciate that. It's true that I initially joined this club in the hopes of getting to know the others. But I'd be lying if I said Satori had nothing to do with it. This club does mean a lot to him after all. Well, I may not be that into it yet, but I'm still gonna try. I don't want to let any of you down. Aw, even Mateo? Thank goodness he's not here. Not Mateo! Please! Anything but Mateo! I'm sick and tired of him acting like he's better than me. I'm better than all of you. <laughs> you said it, not me. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Mateo can go fu- Cat. <sighs> Why can't I say it? I really want to say it. <laughs> yeah, Mateo too. <laughs> Good. And don't worry. I'll keep my word to helping you- 
I'll keep my word to help you impress whoever you're in. Uh, my fucking shit. <laughs> I'll keep my word to help you impress whoever you are interested in. <laughs> are you alright, my friend? You do not. I haven't really made much of a dent in my coffee. Don't worry. It'll get better. <laughs> It'll be my way of thanking you. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> Deal. Anyway, wanna read my poem now? I, um, I'm not very good at macaroni art. Cancel for like a macaroni art picture. <laughs> Macaroni art picture of me and him. <laughs> I worked very hard. This one hard is on you. This. You can tell because it's wearing girl clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the long noodles. I'll be the judge That's of the that. Dress. <laughs> you lied. It's not macaroni art. It's a poem. That's morning cool person. Macaroni art I'm seeing on screen right now. Morning person. Good morning. How are you? I hope that you slept well. Let's see a smile on your face. This is the kind of person I was... I wish I was in the morning, but I'm not, because I'm not a morning person. Good morning? Whatever. I couldn't sleep all night. How can I wake up with a smile when the first thing I want to do is fight? I wish I was a morning person, but I guess I'm just a grumpy Gus. I wish I could wake up with a warm feeling, but the first thing out of my mouth is a cuss. No point in complaining, though. Sleep will have to wait. I'm up now. Time for breakfast. <laughs> Satori, when did you write this? Uh, it's a secret. You wrote this just this morning, didn't you? No. Uh, maybe a little bit. You can't answer a little bit to a yes or no question. Yes, I can. <laughs> uh, I forgot to do it last night. But hey, I tried my best. Well, truthfully, it is pretty good for something that was thrown together in five minutes. I like you. I like how you have bits that rhyme and bits that don't. That's pretty cool. It does make me wonder what you can write if you actually took the time to think about it first. <laughs> Well, I happen to write better when I do it last minute than when I sit to think about it. Well, that sounds like something that would work for you. This poem is all you, in fact, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast before I came to get you. <laughs> like, that's gonna help. Ah, that's why we got to school later than usual. It's bad to skip breakfast. You know what makes me cranky? Yeah, because you never have cranky days on a full stomach. Anyway, thanks for sharing your poem with me. Wasn't this fun? I'm really glad Mateo came up with this idea. Uh, yeah. He's the best! Doesn't want to make me vomit. And tomorrow, <laughs> I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Story seems too excited about his writing to pick up on my sarcasm. Okay, but if it sucks, I get to ridicule you harshly. Uh, that... that's not... Satori, chill. I'm just messing with you. Man, it's hard to tell with you sometimes. I'm sure whatever you write will be awesome, and I look forward to reading it. Now, here we go. Hmm. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like <laughs> in your toe. Ow, that hurt even more. Ow. Uh, your is the poem. We could just call this episode Tired at the Literature Club due to the fact that Purple's not even here and the rest of us are fucking dead. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, I just fucking. Ow.
I stubbed my toe, then pulled my foot back and stepped on a thumbtack. So, Why um, is there a thumbtack on your floor? Oh, God. I don't know! Why don't you ask for thumbtack? Mr. Thumbtack, why are you on my floor? Why don't you not pick up the thumbtack? Why are you on my floor, Mr. Thumbtack? You're gonna calm down, Mr. Thumbtack, and you're gonna have an anxiety attack! I'm gonna have an asthma attack! <laughs> Oh no. my gosh! <laughs> so about your poem. <laughs> oh my god. I'm very. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> More than enough time for him to finish reading. Um. Oh, um. <laughs> Uh, sorry. I, I promise I'm not ignoring you, it's... It's fine. Take your time. Don't push yourself. I keep forgetting that the big guy is jumpy. It's just, um... I need some time to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Alright. Don't pick against us, don't pick against us, don't pick against us. <clears throat> Is this your first time writing a poem? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It shows, right? Yes, I'm afraid it does. Ouch! <laughs> Dang, I keep on forgetting how freaking big his words hit my hurts. Ah, uh, so it's that bad, huh? No. No, it's... It's not bad, it's just... Not. <laughs> Yuri throws his, his brows and bites down on his thumb, deep in thought once again. It's been several minutes, and we haven't really gone anywhere. Yuri sure likes to really think things through before he speaks. Well, it's my fault that you're hot, okay? I'm not hot! Gosh dang it! Oh, did I say that? Uh, did, did I say that out loud? <laughs> Maybe I can learn something from that. Alright, so... There's specific writing habits that are usually typical in new writers. Having been through that myself, I've learned ways to... How to pick up on them, I guess you could say. You write Singing. like a grade schooler, you see. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Natsuki. <laughs> not <Natsuki. laughs> <laughs> Merc would have kicked your butt. <laughs> <clears throat> see, new writers try to make their style more deliberate. Often, picking a subject matter different from the style and just form-fitting them together. The end result is that both the style and expressiveness are kind of weakened, per se. Once Yuri finds his train of thought, his demeanor does a complete 180. And now this is not something you can be blamed for, of course. There are many techniques that can go into even writing a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them. But getting to work together is probably the most challenging part. All of this comes with practice, learning from example and trying new things. It also helps that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Except for Natsuko, he's a pain in the ass. But he can be biased. I don't like him at all. Biased? How? Ah, uh, um... Well, I suppose what, uh, I suppose you'll see what I mean eventually. He, he's a preschooler. I don't even know why we allowed him in here. <laughs> <laughs> he literally looks like a second grader. I'm not even sure if he's even in high school. <laughs> His writing is so errant that I've seen better done by my nephew, and my nephew is literally three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. 
I'm sorry, that... I'm, not, I'm having a bad day. <laughs> that was weird. I wonder what he has against not secret. A lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things. Like you chose his route instead of my. I mean, <laughs> no, no, nothing at all. So how about I check out your poem now? Oh, let me grab my glasses. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Yes, of course. I would love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as he hands me his poem. Oh, you know it. <laughs> He's actually really handsome when he smiles. He oh, seems so thank you. <laughs> he seems so serious all the time. I doubt he's this happy about anything very often. You're right, I'm depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Thirst. My mouth is parched. Desperate, I must hydrate. I take a glass from the cupboard and I open the icebox. Shrinking away from the artificial light, I search for the pitcher of water. I close the door and relish in the return of the dark. I fill my glass and drink it. Still thirsty, I fill the glass again, then once more. I empty the pitcher. I remain unsatisfied. I refill the pitcher only to drain it again. Every sip only leaves me thirstier. Insatisfiable. I must replenish. <laughs> <Can you> <laughs> What do you mean, saying it like what? <laughs> on go insane. Or go insane. Candle on the table. Matchbox in my hand. The flame flickers. I flicker back. At last, my thirst has been quenched. I'm sorry if you had trouble reading it in my handwriting. I can't even read it myself. Did you not just see my handwriting? I'm surprised you're able to read it. Actually, no, I didn't. You <clears> forgot <throat> that. I didn't even your, read it out. Your penmanship is perfect. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> it just took you a long time to read it. <laughs> then again, oh. uh, I was rereading it also. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I was just rereading it a few times because I really liked it. Have you considered that? Yuri's face turns beet red. He quickly looks... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he quickly looks away, laughing nervously. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you could think that. <laughs> well, I do. I really like your poem, Yuri. I like the imagery and the atmosphere. I like how it made me feel while I was reading it. And I really like how it was short yet descriptive. It wasn't too short, was it? I, I usually prefer shorter broke. <laughs> <clears throat> I usually prefer shorter poems, but I can write longer ones from time to time, if you'd prefer. I can make a dirty joke right now. Why oh, did you do that? Oh, exactly what you want to make. <laughs> Why did he? Because <sighs> that's my job. Not at all. I gotta make different jokes from last time, or it's not funny! Okay. <clears throat> I'm really happy you liked it. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more wild. Like, taco sauce. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say taco verde, but I was like, wait, that's, that's, to, to normal people, that's spicy. What? No, it's not. No. Not even. What? No, there are kids at my school who complain that the verde sauce is too spicy. Well, they're weak. It is. I know. Spicy. <laughs> it's like your version. Better than just means green, dumbass. 
I don't know Spanish. <laughs> I'm from Wales. I don't speak. I barely, sp I barely, I barely speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Can you even speak Welsh? Bring on the Danya the way, put on the shit. <laughs> oh my gosh, just please, just please, just breathe this, please. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Why did I start sounding like, an like one of those Japanese voice actors trying to speak English? I don't know. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, digest it. Metaphorical thirst in your story. What were you doing? <laughs> oh man. Horny. Go to horny jail or perish. Dates. <clears throat> what are you thirsty for? Well, <laughs> if you really want to know. <clears throat> Water. Water, you dirty minded fuck. Be gone! Go to horny jail! Be gone! Come on! Come it's on! Go! My go! Fault. go. The game's programmed that way! <clears throat> yeah, and you're programmed to like my shit, even if you don't. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I'm I'm in a very odd mood today, let's be honest. Let's just say that. You are. You're so mean to me. <laughs> I'm not mean, I'm just emotionally unstable. There's actually that's the same thing. Um <clears throat> Well, um, I suppose I can answer. The answer could be, yeah, interpreted in many ways. Uh, it's you. Oh, Wait, as the reader. It's you as the reader. <laughs> you can feel free to look at it any way you like. <laughs> okay, fine. Don't tell me what it's about. You <clears> sure <throat> know a lot about writing. I'm very impressed. It's nothing really. I just. I have no friends, and this is kind of what I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, um, it does make me happy that you think that. I very much appreciate it. Remember, it won't be long before you pick up these things, too. Well, I'm feeling very inspired by your feedback. So, I'll make sure to apply it to my next poem. I look forward to seeing what you've learned. Mateo, freaking! I need rage in order right, to. It's go time. So, I'm, cat, I'm having fun you... so far. Um, yeah, absolutely. I suppose that's good then. By the way, since you're new and all, do you ever have any suggestions for the club? Maybe new activities or things we can improve on. Remember, I'm always listening. So don't be afraid to bring things up. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I mean, I am better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. But now that I have the go-ahead to speak up about things, I'm probably, gonna, I'm probably going to when I can. Anyway, do you want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but it's what I agreed to. Oh. I'm sure it's very embarrassing. Screw you. But don't worry, I won't hold it against you. I mean, it can't be any worse than Satori's. Some macaroni art. <laughs> have you seen that nice. shit? <laughs> yes, I have. I hand the horse's ass my poem. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot that line was there. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mateo chuckles softly to himself. Do you like it? Cat, your handwriting is atrocious. Fuck you. <laughs> it's hardly legible. Tell me, were you holding the pencil with your feet? Oh, I want to murder you. Or did Satori do it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, I get it. I'll work on my handwriting, jeez. You don't have to be such a jerk about it. Mateo chuckles again, a bit louder this time. 
His smug attitude only pisses me off even more. From the small assembly of letters I could actually decipher as words, it sounds like the childish dribble Natsuko writes. Ooh. <laughs> Not that he's a particularly bad writer. I'm just not fond of You're I'm just right. not fond of that You're style. <laughs> You're right, he's not a bad he's not a particularly bad writer. He's an absolute bad writer. Oh my gosh. It's very Shell Silverstein. Who's she? He is famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They feel like they're written for little kids, but they can express views on the world that would apply to anybody. So you're saying Natsu writes like that? Exactly. I hope to see your style evolve into something more, though. You're not a lost cause just yet. Oh. I definitely plan on trying different things. It will take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. But rest assured, I am not a lost cause. Good to hear. I want to see you try new things. That is the best way to find out the kind of style that suits you, after all. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone wants you to write. I mean, it's not like you have to worry about impressing them. Anyway, are you ready to read them now? Yeah, looking forward to it. You sound thrilled. I mean, we both know you're going to make me look like an untalented hack. So I'm sorry I'm not leaping for joy at the opportunity. It's not my fault you chose to see it that way. Whatever. Let's just see it already. Looking out. I didn't do that. That's it. That's the poem. <laughs> 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 that's the poem. We're done. We're finished. All right. Let's go. Let's keep talking. It wasn't there when I left earlier. Someone else must have done it. It's just a little hole. Illumination pours through. Curiosity tells me to take a peek. Accidental fear keeps me from scumbagging. Scum what is that? It's succumbing. Succumbing? Yeah. Succumbing to curiosity. For weeks, I ignore the hole in the wall. I occasionally glance at it, but I will not look inside. What am I afraid of? I hear things coming from the other side. Terrible screeching sounds, flashing lights. Time goes on. My curiosity becomes hungry hungrier. I warn myself not to look inside. I tell myself I won't like what I see. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Finally I take no more. Curiosity consumes me. I cave in and peek inside. There you are. I see you. Peeking back at me. Hungry. Pillsbury Dullboy. Feels very dope. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, what do you think? Um. Speechless, I see. Ah. Uh, it's strange. Very free form, if that's what you call it. <laughs> Please, don't act like you have something constructive to say. Oh, I hate you so much. We both know you're not there yet. Well, what do you want from me? It's a weird poem. I can't even fathom what it could possibly be about. Ah. Well. I guess you could say I have some kind of empathy and path in you. What is that? <laughs> epiphany! <laughs> I guess we could say I had some epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. You might even say it's making them weird. 
An epiphany? Yeah, something like that, if I can pronounce it. <laughs> like, what kind of epiphany? Well, don't worry about it. It's not important at this point. It'll all make sense later. Okay then. I guess I'm expected to just ignore that weirdness. So, does that mean we're done? I think so. Unless you want something else. I mean, I didn't really learn anything from you. Oh, is that so? Look, you said I should let you know if I have any suggestions for things you can do better, right? Well, how about giving me some helpful writing tips? This way I can walk away with at least some useful knowledge after each of these sessions. Mateo considers my idea for a moment. You know, you might be right. As president, I should offer more advice to the others. Alright then. Here's Mateo's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. On a specific point. <laughs> if you try too hard to make it perfect, you will never make any progress, so... Just force yourself to get something down on paper, then tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for a long, for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. What if I'm using a pencil? So just move your hand and go with the flow. Ah, oh, I hate this character. Like I care. <laughs> That's my advice for today. Oh my gosh. Thanks for listening. Yes, that's everyone. I glance around the room. That wasn't as stressful as I anticipated. I learned what I already knew. My writing abilities are mediocre at best. There's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. But I still enjoyed getting to know everyone and learning about their own techniques. I noticed across the room Satori and Mateo were chatting. My eyes then land on Yori and Natsuko. It is the fighting scene! They exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I notice each of their expressions change. Natsuko's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yori smiles sadly. I perk up. I have the feeling it had something interesting is about to go down. <clears throat> Uh, um, illiterate one. Oh wait, that's Satori. Sorry, I get you. Hey. Wow, it's your line. Psycho even here. Psycho. Psycho. You want me to do Psycho? Psycho. Dad. I don't. Wait, why did I call you? Wait, psycho. what? Brother. Brother of mine! Weird relationship with Psycho that you're not telling us? No. <laughs> no, I was gonna go, uh, I was gonna go, Mum, Mum, Mummy, Mum, 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 what? That is a uh, nice cover up. Psycho. 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 I'll do Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> What's with this language? <laughs> What's with this language? Oh my gosh, are you kidding wait, me? Wait, can I have a fight with myself? <laughs> let's do this together. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this, okay. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, let's do Why this. Why is all the guys freaking going away? Alright. I'll be Yuri. You can be <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go. Okay, we got the smell of Kaiser, the one man, I mean, two man. <laughs> oh my god, what is with this language? Oh my god. Keep going! <laughs> Come on, no, you the voice. Keep going! You can't Fine. let him get out of voice! Alright, alright, alright! 
Hmm, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuko dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thank you. Yours is cute. Cute? Oh, snap! Shorty's triggered! Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up! How can you- how can that be cute? It's... is that what you are going for? Hmm... I, I guess I could see that now, but... Uh, the language, it's just... it sucks! Um, as a nice way to put it. Yordi struggles to explain his critique while trying to remain as polite as possible. Polite! Exactly. Yordi being that polite! That's the nicest way to put it! <laughs> yeah, what about it? Well, if I, <clears throat> if I may offer a couple suggestions... If I was looking for a suggestion, I would have asked someone who actually likes it. Which people did, by the way. Satori liked it, and Kat did too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Um, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but... I've spent a long time developing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly ex inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Kat liked my poem too, by the way. You're not special. She even said she was impressed by it. Natsuko smirks and leans back in his chair, <clears throat> propping his feet up on the desk. <clears throat> Unsanitary. Oh, Please, remove your I feet. didn't realize you're so invested in impressing our new member, Yuri. I am. Yuri suddenly stands up. Oh boy, things are getting real. <clears throat> Perhaps you're just jealous that Kat appreciated the advice of a mature individual than the more than she appreciates the view of a child. I'm the child? Are you that full of yourself? Besides, yes. how do you know she didn't appreciate my advice more? I don't think I like where this is going. I look away trying to focus on something else. Maybe if I look over here, they won't notice me. Full of myself, am I? You're the one who goes out of his way to make everything you do overly masculine. As though you're <clears throat> compensating for something. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Natsuko suddenly stands up. And just who the hell is that supposed to mean? And just what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, you know what it means. Well, you know what? I'm not the one who started stuffing his pants with Santa's stocking as soon as Cat starts showing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Natsuko! Suddenly, both guys turned towards me as if they just noticed I was sitting there. Damn it, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid! Now we just have to avoid staring at Yuri's crotch. Don't worry, I know it's tempting. Luckily, he's too distracted to notice. Cat! He, he's lying! <laughs> he, he just wants to make me look bad. That's not true! He started it! If he could get over himself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. I mean, what even is the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason, if that's the word? It's convoluted, you dumb dumb. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> you insufferable child. 
with the language of a second grader. <clears throat> the meaning should jump out of the reader, not force him to try and figure it out. Help me explain that to him, cat. I didn't mean it, Mark Kaiser. <clears throat> Hold on. There's a reason that we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey feelings and meanings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, but it's also a complete waste. You understand that, right, Cat? Right? No. Well? Why the hell did they go and drag me into this? I don't even know anything about writing. Because we are in love with you. I mean, whoever I agree with will definitely think more highly of me. So, of course, that's gonna be since we're simping for Natsu right now. Um... Yori, you're insanely talented, but Natsu does have a point. I think conveying feelings with a few words can be just as impressive. It lets the reader's imagination take over, and Natsu's poem did a really good job at that. Natsuko beams proudly, and Natsu... <laughs> What all of us talked about yesterday, it's true. Writing is a really personal thing and sharing it can be hard. We all learned that today. Even a small amount of criticism can lead to a pretty heated debate. I see Satori nodding approvingly from the corner of my vision. Yeah, so you don't need to feel threatened, Natsu. You're a great writer. Natsuko blushes and smiles gently to himself. Yori looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for him as well. Yori, I'm sure Natsuko didn't mean the things he said. You're an amazing writer too, so you don't need to feel threatened either. I mean 100% of the things I think I said. Oh my god, where have you been? I have been voicing your character for so long, oh my god. Yeah, now I can start talking like this again. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god! Welcome back. I'm gonna be honest. It, it was quite that it was quite entertaining to listen to. Oh my god! Where have you been? <laughs> I'm not the one who keeps stock stuffing my pants with Santa stocking. <laughs> You're gonna listen to it as soon as you edit this. It's gonna be awesome. I was really important. <clears throat> if you say so. Well, go on, Natsuko. <laughs> <laughs> or do you want me to do this for you? <laughs> I mean, you were doing a pretty good job. Oh my gosh. Psycho, just do it. Fine. Psycho, Cat, you're winning. You, this is literally your route. Please. Don't torture me like this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, when we get into a call, they get... <laughs> I'll, I'll apologize. <laughs> I'm mad enough to do that myself. Mm -hmm. Natsuko looks at you already. Yuri, that thing I said about you, you know, stuffing your pants. It's true. Well, I'm sorry that you have to stuff your pants with socks because you have a small dick, okay? I'm very sorry that has to happen. <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, I don't know exactly if it's true or not. But I'm sorry I said it. That said, Natsuko crosses his arms and looks away stubbornly. I sigh. Well, that apology could have been more sincere. Satori playfully nudges Yuri. Hey! I have PE with Yuri. Trust me, every inch he's packing is 100% Santa stocking. <laughs> oh 
as I've said before in the past, it's 100% Angus beef. I've you came already... over to my house and the stocking for my chimney went missing once. I just like it how literally Satori, like, as soon as this whole entire debate is gone, just tries to calm it down by saying, trust me, that wang there is 100% natural. You know, last time Satori was listening to music and doodling. Yeah, and now he's paying attention! My gaze instantly shifts back to your scratch. Oh, this time oh, he oh. notices. Both of our faces turn bright red. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll go make some tea. Yuri hurries off. Satori smiles proudly at me. I helped. My glare meets his dumb grin, as it should. That's where you decide to jump in? I needed your help like five minutes ago. You just stood there smiling like an idiot while I broke up the fight. What the hell kind of vice president are you? Realizing his mistake, Satori blushes and looks away embarrassingly. I... I'm sorry. I didn't think. And you! I turn around, I turn towards Mateo, who's standing <laughs> off to the side watching. His stupid face! I know, he's like, what? What? <laughs> What'd I do? <laughs> oh my gosh. Where were you during that little fiasco? Watching from the sidelines while I did your job? Mateo glares at me for a moment. Then, to my surprise, he averts his gaze and drops the scowl. I... I suppose you might have a point. Perhaps I should have interjected. Yeah. Me too. Both of them look dejectingly at the, the ground. I sigh. <sighs> Tell you what. If I have to learn to be a poet, then you two need to learn to be better leaders. Deal? You got a deal, cat. I look at Mateo skeptically. What about you? Gonna step up your game and be a real leader? Rest assured, I will be taking control from now on. I suppose I owe you my gratitude for surprisingly enlightening... Advice? Your surprisingly enlightening advice. Mateo smiles at me. I'm sli- <laughs> I'm literally holding back my lap because if purple is here and if I actually said that line of being a real leader, he would literally threaten my life. I am not playing around. He would threaten my life as well. Oh my gosh. My stomach knots up. Ugh, why does he have to be so dashing? It's... it's fine. All right, guys. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? I had fun. Danny. Oh my God, the again. I'd say that it was worth it. That was a fucking nightmare. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was alright. Well, mostly. Cat, how about you? Well, it started off slow, but then it got interesting. It was a cool thing to discuss with everyone, too. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from everybody today, too. I expect to see a good significant improvement from you tomorrow. I Don't let me down. <laughs> I did learn a lot from everyone here today. Enough, at least, to impress who I want to impress. And with Satori as my wingman, I'm confident I can do this. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Cat! Ready to walk home? Yep, let's head out. Satori beams at me. It's nice to be able to walk home from school together like we used to. Hey, Satori. 
Yeah? About what happened earlier. That fight between Natsu and Yuri. Does that happen often? I've never seen them act like that. I mean, it's not unusual for guys to show off when they're around a cute girl. Oh, so I'm getting the blame for this. Yes, it's all your fault. Oh, great. Your hotness is tearing this club apart. <laughs> we both get a chuckle out of that one. Nah, they really are good guys. Please, don't hate them. I don't hate them. True, they didn't exactly score points with me by dragging me into their fight, but I won't hold it against them. I was just wondering if it's common for them to fight, that's all. I trust that they're good people if you think so highly of them. That's a relief. I like seeing you get along with everyone. I can tell you're having fun. I am having fun. Thanks for helping me out with that. Of course. Tomorrow's gonna be even better. And remember, if you like Nat, stick with simple, whimsical poems. That'll really make him happy. He smiled. It's so wonderful having Satori support my little scheme here. Thanks for the advice. Let's see what tomorrow holds. Ugh. That's over. <laughs> <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> Alright, I hope that you guys like this. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Along to um, actually look up the playlist of the Doki Doki Switcheroo because we have been making videos on this for a while. Let's start and At credits. least January. Yeah. <laughs> Let's we started start. like November. Or was it December? I don't, I don't remember. I think it might have been early December. Let's start with Malakiza. Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. I'm Malakiza. You can follow me on YouTube. Uh, it's just Malakiza. And you can also uh, follow... My tongue is all over the place and doesn't help that I voiced three characters. Maybe a little bit of four. Okay. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter, Malakiza VA. Um... Got some interesting stuff coming, so stay tuned. All right, now Psycho. My name is Psycho. Check out my band Six Clicks. YouTube.com Six Click <laughs> Band. I like how it's your band. Yes, Danny's also in the band, but it's my band. But Danny's not wanna... here, so it's your band now. What exactly. do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Are you oh fucking God. kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I went and made tea, I'm back. Dude, how long oh did that gosh. take to make tea? Well, I had to- Why'd you leave it? to make tea mid-recording? Dude, it's I had to, like, voice you. It said you're yeah, not going you to make dare. tea. You're a freaking like, you do all the Don't work. you dare do that. I'm, I'll explain after the recording's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain what the actual reason I left. Like, I didn't actually leave to go to make tea. I'll, make the, I'll, I'll explain the actual reason. I hear. It's just Yuri said he went to go make tea, so. Okay, um, mm. Danny and Card, you go. Hi, I'm Daniel, the actual frontman of Six Clicks, not saying Ooh. anything. Oh, but sorry, he's he's not Suko. I kind of have to make fun of him at some time, at some point. So right, anyways, I love him. Don't worry. Uh, but yeah, hi, I'm the lead singer of Six Clicks. Go check it out. Psycho's the drummer and the rapper. He's he spits some sick flames, if that's what you young folks say nowadays. That's not what they uh, say. Anyways, you go check us out. Uh, Cascade Platinum, sponsor us, please. All right. So if you want to go to Purple's, um, <laughs> Church of you Amy, want... I'm Purple, and welcome and go check me out on every social media. That's Purple Turtle Two Hundred Seven. Oh my gosh! Just Google Purple you Turtle Two Hundred Seven. You're gonna find it. Turtle Two Hundred Seven. Yeah. My Instagram is Purple Turtle Two Hundred Seven. My YouTube channel is Purple Turtle. He's gonna kill you. I hope you know that. TikTok is the purple turtle 207. Oh. Well, okay. you can't. My mother name. named me purple oh. turtle 207. Oh my gosh. Okay, my also, name. it's gonna be it's gonna be down in the description below as well if you want to check that out. And also, purple Merp. turtle 206. Oh my gosh. Also, Merp, 
Merp's channel is Merp, M-E-R-P, but if you oh, want to watch her Twitch, then please go to Merp1505. Mm -hmm. <sighs> also, if you want to email me, give me fan pic fan pictures and stuff, then email me at kattheawesome6.com at, uh, at kattheawesome6 at gmail.com. Um, and also, please go to my Discord, the link, if you want, if you guys want to hang out and stuff, link is down in the description below. <laughs> if you send you guys... Yuri... Well done. If I you have send Yuri fan art... Oh. Yeah, I have I a challenge for our little stars. I want you guys to send in your best macaroni art. Oh my god. Macaroni art of our characters, please. Yes. Yes. Right. So I, I also want to say for every uh, for every fan art pick we get, I will brew one Irish tea and I will send it out to someone. I, I don't think you can let, I don't think you can uh, send link liquids in the mail. No, I don't think that you can either. I will send you my homemade recipe for <laughs> really good mocha frappes. All right. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are and shine brighter than the galaxy, my little stars. Bye! Goodbye. Bye.